one of my friends, he had a new girlfriend, and we had like lunch with friends and everything. And they asked me, okay, what's new? And I was desperate. I just uh, went through a terrible breakup with one of my girlfriends. And I started talking about it, and he hit me under the table and changed the topic. Like he was ashamed of me to talk about my girlfriends in front of his wife. I was not as uh, strong as I am now then. And that kind of behavior even shut me down more. So I would talk, I would talk about anything, about weather, about sports, about going out, but not about the, 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 the true things that bothered me. I didn't find safe space among my straight friends. They hid me under the table. My gender identity is non-binary. Sometimes I feel more like a man, sometimes I feel more like a woman, and that reflects to my sexuality as well. So my sexual orientation is, is fluid, is queer. It's, it moves from here and there. And I love it like that. There was some campaign in Macedonia about xenophobia. So they have one Muslim woman, we have one Roma, so they tick me in the lesbian uh, box. And then I wrote a statement which was very <laughs> queer, but when you translate queer in Macedonia, it's very heavy word, it's nastrano, nastrana. And then I see myself, I come home from jogging, I jog, and I see poster of myself with the message revised, and instead of queer or nastrano, they change different. And I was, I freaked out completely because they revised me, they changed me. That's what the society do to us. They change us, they fit us, they try to fit us in what's acceptable for, for the majority. When they cannot fit us to the norm, when they cannot fit us to the limits of their understanding, they erase us like we don't exist.